let's uh, start off this guided meditation with uh, bringing our full awareness to how we are currently seated. Are you sitting on a, a chair? Is your back supported? Is your back straight up? Are your feet resting on the floor below you? Can you rest your hands? Can you rest your hands on your legs? Can you turn your hand palms open? How are you feeling? Let's um, bring our full attention and awareness to our breath, our life force. Just pay fully attention and just be fully present with how you're breathing in. Bring attention and awareness to the, to the feeling, the sensations, the tinsling it may cause. you're breathing in, can you feel how you're inhaling through the nose? How you're breathing in? How your breath is coming in to the forehead? Can you feel how your breath, the energy you're inhaling is relaxing your forehead? It's overcoming your busy mind. The mind chatter is easing the mind chatter. It brings it brings you closer to another stage of relaxation. Just completely rest all this activity that is going on in your head, in your mind. Just breathe in, breathe in this relaxation. Perhaps you could start to visualize that your third eye chakra in your forehead between the eyebrows. It's, it's slowly opening up. You could feel it's like opening up like a petal, like a flower. A flower with the color indigo. Well, it's opening up, you could maybe even visualize that this opening is also like opening up, recreating, giving rebirth to a whole new galaxy. Like a big bang, creating a new universe. It's opening up, it's causing and a major bang, a major explosion. It's giving life, it's giving birth to new life. This universe that's creating is like creating a new bubble, a new cell. Within the cell, new ecosystems in the forms of Galaxies, suns, planets, stars can be created. New solar systems. That if positioned correctly, it can support life on planets. Every planet has their own ecosystem. With opening up your third eye, you could visualize, imagine what it will be like. It's to recreate new life, new visions, 
new visions where you can explore infinite new possibilities you haven't thought about before you haven't lived before yet you would like to live that we're here to explore to experience infinite possibilities where we have learned lessons from the past that has created who we currently are that is pushing us forward to who we want to become a newer version an upgraded version a stronger version a more freer version a more independent version a version that wants to give support look after take care nurture a version that perhaps would like to create kingdoms kingdoms where life can be protected nurtured where life can completely thrive because of the support and the care you give in the service of others where abundance can flow through healthy management this kingdom can be in your own life this kingdom can be the community you serve the family you want to protect the loved one you want to look after inhale and just feel how strong this energy is very beautiful whole masculine energy very beautiful profound divine masculine energy that wants to create a space for the feminine to thrive wants to create a space where the intuition can flee and flow freely where creativity can be nurtured where that can be protected nurtured In complete freedom, independence, and abundance. And as a king, looking over his kingdom, you want to make people feel in the way you want to feel, in the most empathetic way if you have pain if you have wounds you do not want that other are going to feel and experience these same pains and wounds and trauma you know you gotta look at it heal these wounds so you, you become better you can give better you have learned the lessons you have realized your light has entered where you were hurt the most these insights can now be passed on in lessons to your community to your kingdom And as the warrior you are, 
you have sacrificed, you have suffered, you have experienced pain, you have experienced loss, you have experienced disappointments, but yet you know how to fight. You know how to fight for your freedom. Fight for what you value, fight for what you believe in. This warrior's instinct fighting for your survival. Fighting for what you want. Fighting for what you care about. Has given you great character. Strong and empowered personality. That again, once more, can give support and protection to those you care about. Take a deep breath in. Feel this relaxation coming into the heart. Integrate this relaxation, this visualization into the heart. Taking a deep breath in, I feel how the heart chakra is opening up. Once again, like a flower, like a sunflower. Opening up, it's receiving the light from the light source. Perhaps you could visualize this light source is our sun shining the light. This flower is opening up and it's receiving more of that. And because it's receiving more, it can reciprocate. It can now shine through as a mirror. This light can be can be seen as your entire energy field around you, vibrating in a much higher, higher frequency. From whole other vibrancy. Cleansed, purified, pure. Love and light. The warrior's aspect and the king aspect has been integrated in your lower chakras. Wanting to walk your own path. You can feel it in the feet underneath. You can feel it in the earth chakra, just underneath your knee, underneath your feet. You can feel strong connection with the earth. You know where you belong. You know where you fit in. You know what path to walk on, what direction to go into. You walk firmly. You can feel it. It's coming into your root chakra. A very strong and grounding feeling. This grounding feeling Gives you a great sense of purpose, of direction. If you want to lead, you must lead yourself. Sometimes you must learn to follow in order to lead once more. And every leader, every follower is a leader of its own. They might follow you briefly until they can see for themselves. What is the whole core purpose of leadership? Let others see for themselves.
breathing in the solar plexus, personal strength, empowerment, confidence, self-esteem. Helping people to see for themselves is true personal empowerment. True personal empowerment is being able to be vulnerable for yourself. Is to dare to be vulnerable. Is to show and share your path with others who may wish to do so. Dare to be open. Share your insights and wisdom of where you have been and how that made you. Because of how that made you. Still dare to be vulnerable, to look at where you might lose yourself. Still have the strength and encouragement. Do not look away from these spots where you might lose yourself, as these spots can also give you new insights of where you might and could find yourself. As all of us, we would like to just hang on our strength. I feel completely confident about that. But one day, you will stumble upon a dark spot unclarity a bank of fuck and mist where you might lose yourself and the only way to refine yourself remember yourself is to look at your weaknesses through this vulnerability, to be completely truly honest with yourself. You might come across higher wisdom, higher perspective. See what you haven't saw before. Ego cannot stand there. Ego wants to hang on what it's known and what it's familiar for. Ego wants to keep you safe and secure. It wants to hold on to the past. But it's scared of the future. It wants to hold on of what it thinks you are. But the heart, the soul, knows who you are. Just let this sink in into the heart for a moment, this new relaxation, this real new realization, this new truth about yourself. Perhaps you just became aware of where your vulnerability might be, how you could use this strength to search answers for yourself, to reclaim clarity. By reclaiming this clarity, perhaps you could carve a path for others as well, as more people could relate to where you have been, which could create new bonds, new trusts, new relationships.
feel this in your heart. Become the leader you always have been and will be. Maybe you want to create the gesture of Namaste with your hands. Hold them in front of your heart. Sending gratitude to this new realization. Expressing gratitude for the guidance and support you have received. Take a deep breath in, open your eyes, get in touch with your body, move around, feeling strong and empowered and grounded for the rest of your day. Thank you.